Hello and welcome to Home Designer. In this tutorial, I will briefly introduce you to Home Designer. In the start window, you can choose whether you want to draw a floor plan or create an interior design. You can set the language, a link will take you directly to the tutorial, and here you can get directly to my homepage. To exit, there is the exit button. I have translated Home Designer into over 30 languages, and I hope your native language is included. OK, let's get creating the floor plan. The first two buttons take you back to the start menu or to the interior design scene. The help button gives you useful tips such as navigation and shortcuts. At the beginning, we import a floor plan background image and use it as a template. Of course, you can also start creating your floor plan without a template. Once a floor plan image is loaded, we can set the intensity, size and rotation. OK, let's start drawing our first room. Here in the input, we can write in the name for the room. The rooms are drawn from corner point to corner point. The white dots follow a grid, but this is too coarse for us here. We can adjust the grid more precisely via the settings. Now we draw the room from corner point to corner point. And the first room is ready. In the floor plan template, we can also set whether the template should be above or below the drawing. In the general settings, we can decide whether we want to see the room name and we can change the size of the dimensions and also switch between meters and feet. We can change the top view to an isometric view and examine our drawing from different perspectives. We can activate and deactivate the walls. Next, we draw the entry. This one is a little tricky to draw as it has an angled wall and goes around the corner. When drawing, you should therefore always pay attention to the dashed lines to see whether the right walls are being drawn. You can also first draw a point in space and then drag it to the correct position. The entry is ready. You can also deactivate the verticals via the menu. Now it's time for the bathroom. Complete. Now comes the children's room. Again, simply enter the room name here so you can assign the rooms later. Done. The bedroom shouldn't be a problem anymore. Just draw from corner to corner. Done. In our example, the living room is combined with an open kitchen, so we can create a room for this and draw again from corner to corner. So our floor plan is ready. I would say that was quick. Let's look at the whole thing in 3D perspective and activate the walls. It's already looking pretty good. We can now change the wall height in the settings or the wall thickness of the outer and inner walls. Okay, what's missing? Ah, yes, of course, we still have to draw in the doors. This works in a similar way. Open the draw menu and select add door and it is best to click on the correct positions from the top view to insert a door. That's it. In the settings, we can change the door height and width. We can integrate a window into the door and we also have influence on the door window frame. Now only the windows are missing. The procedure is exactly the same. Open the draw menu, select add window, and click where you want the window to appear. We also have an influence on the window design. 
we can change the size, height and frame design. But now we've done it, our floor plan is ready. With the help of the photo function, photos can now be taken from different angles. And don't forget to save your floor plan. Here you also have the option of changing the save name or deleting old floor plans. So next, I want to show you how to create an interior design with Home Designer. At the beginning, we will be asked if we want to create a new interior design or load an existing one. For this example, I'll choose a simple living room. If we click on the floor, we can assign a material for the floor. The same works with the wall. In the interior design, it is possible to change the color of the floor using the image editing menu. And let's just choose a light blue floor. Furthermore, we can activate and set a vignette as well as influence the ambient occlusion and color gradient. So, we now have different interior design categories available. Let's just look for a few nice pictures for the wall in the decoration category. Just select the object and click on a spot on the wall. So next, let's pick a sofa. When we have positioned an object, we can click on it again and under move, it can be repositioned. We can also use the arrow keys to influence the rotation and scaling. With the escape key, we delete the object again. Let's find another sofa that fits better. Perfect! Now another plant for the corner. A floor lamp and a lamp for the ceiling are still missing. Yep, that looks good. There are also curtains for the windows. Correctly scaled and positioned, these fit well into the picture. So here we have a perfect home corner. Oh, a plant should not be missing here. What is missing here? Ah, oh, a wall clock wouldn't be bad. In another modern picture on the wall. Oh, and we could place a television in the middle of the room too. Perfect, okay, I'd say we're done. Now we can create photos from different perspectives. We could also change the image editing again. A different wall color might not be bad either. Or a loft design would also have something. Disable the filters again. Wow, that looks really cool. Perfect. That's it. Thanks for watching. I wish you a lot of fun with Home Designer.